guys and welcome back. So today's review is gonna be on our Aura Vedic uh, products and they are mostly skincare range. Now I have received a bunch of products from them uh, one and a half months ago maybe and I have tried out these products individually for a month, over a month now and I'll tell you a little bit detail about the company. It's called Aura Vedic and it's a natural beauty brand which sources uses only the best local natural ingredients. I'm so sorry if you can hear anything in the background. It's my pet baby who is actually playing and is not ready to just shut up and sit down. So they are inspired by the ancient um, knowledge of the Vedas and they use their knowledge to harness the cleansing and cosmetic properties of natural ingredients and so forth. So this was a basic, so they are all into natural ingredients and got three skincare products which I'm going to talk about. One is a anti-blemish face pack. One is a skin polish pure lightning. And the other one is a serum. It's the skin lightening oil. Now, uh, these are actually products which are very good for your sensitive skin because they are made out of natural ingredients. So it's not going to harm your skin in any way and it's going to be really good for your skin if you use, like you have to be a little consistent with these uh, because they do not really show up the results like at once or just by one wash or one usage. You have to be a little uh, patient with these products. And so let's get started with the review and then probably you can get to know what I'm talking about. So let's first start with the first thing uh, which I use. It's the Pure Lightning Skin Polish. This is priced at 300 rupees for 100 grams. Now it is Pure Skin Lightning Skin Polish Sandal Tum and it's made up of sandal and turmeric and it's for spotless and glowing skin. Now uh, it is paraben free or any harmful chemicals which is a good thing. Uh, so yeah it has ingredients and all mentioned in that and um, it says scoop, scoop out a little bit on your fingertips and gently massage over moist skin. Leave polish skin for few minutes before gently wiping it off. So it comes in a packaging like this. These are actually, these are not glass, this is plastic and it's actually easy to carry as well. So it looks like this. It smells to me of some cream I've used. Uh, boroline kind of a smell uh, which is very pleasant actually. And it is. it looks like this. Let me show you the product. It looks like this and when you take it out it is actually a cream format so it's cream and it has tiny particles in it like very 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 tiny particles i don't know if you can see this in the video but it has tiny tiny um, particles in this which actually cleanses your skin really well and exfoliates really well and the cream is very moisturizing so there are many creams where you scrub it off and your skin feels um, very less moisturized or very dry or sketchy so this doesn't happen with this your skin leaves I mean when I use it what I do is they have asked us to leave it for few minutes which I don't really do that because concentration of uh, natural extracts essential oils and floral water so this may be not be good for all skin types who are actually allergic to floral scent so I use this product like thrice a week or sometimes two times a week not before not more than that because it is actually an exfoliator and skin polishing um, product so uh, though it has natural ingredients I still stay away from using it daily but this is a very good cleanser because it cleanses all your dead skins and you can see it has tiny particles in it which actually cleans all your dead particles like dead cells and any dirt or any blackheads whiteheads like uh, work on your blackheads and whiteheads as well so it's a very good scrub and because of the cream I said it's very moisturizing your skin doesn't feel very dry and because it's very natural it'll suit all skin types so I use this thrice a week as I said and I have noticed that my skin feels very clean Firstly, my skin feels very soft because of the cream. It's very moisturizing. I don't really, I do tend to use a moisturizer after that, but 
it does not feel dry if if you know what i mean so it's actually a very good scrub and it's very inexpensive as well it's for 300 rupees for 100 grams as i said and it says turmeric and red sandal work to reduce pigmentation dark spots while jojoba beads gently buff away the dull tanned and dead skin to reveal glowing and even skin tone free of blemishes now um i don't know about fading uh, the i i don't know really about fading pigmentation or dark spots because i don't really have uh, many dark spots to try that out but overall i really like the product because of the smell it's very refreshing and uh, it's a very good scrub as well so and for the price 300 rupees and all natural ingredients in it i find it very good it did not break me out at all and i really like the formulation and how it's made this product i'll be showing you is the skin lightening oil so this looks like this and it's a oil basically i'll just read out what's written uh, it says it's a powerful <coughs> It says this is powerful skin oil provides the purest more natural and effective ways of reducing dark spots pigmentations delivering essential nutrients into your skin upper layer revealing lighter brighter radiant and youthful looking skin so you use it gently massage every morning and night on clear skin using upward directions that's it and so this is for 200 rupees for 100 ml which is actually good and it is made up of many things actually but i'll just read out a few it is made up of turmeric oil saffron oil winter cherry extract licorice extract orange oil then um vitamin e coconut oil lime oil lapa oil katuki oil rasna extract shatawa oil so i think there are many ingredients which i do not really know about but um yeah this is actually very natural oil now i would say this very good for dry skin people because this is a very good oil i leave it i do not really use it in the morning um, or maybe if i want to i just take one drop it drop of it and put it all over my face just to you know i skip the moisturizer and i just put just one drop of it and then i go with my regular makeup but in the night i like to you know put good 3 to 4 drops of it all over my face and it's enough so that's how you know you'll be left this will work for a very long time and uh, so it's very good for dry skin people because when you wake up in the next morning um, your skin will be very hydrated it will be oily no doubt because you know the oil is trying to work on your skin etc so you will be oily uh, when you wake up in the morning and you will feel like oil uh, all over your face but when you wash your face your face your skin feels very very soft and very hydrated which i love you wake up to a very good plumped up blushed skin so that is what i like about this but for oily girls i would say um you can either skip it if you like or you can add a drop of uh of this oil in your moisturizer you can use it use it that way put one drop of it in your cream and then use it so it won't be that oily for you still you'll get the essentials of this oil now i have been using this oil for one month now straight or more than that but as i said i do not really have dark spots to say that it's faded or no but i did notice a visible change uh, when it comes to my dry patches or when it comes to my overall um hydration of the skin i do not really use anything when i was trying out this product i was not using any moisturizer just this and the night and when i wake up as i said my skin feels oily but once i wash it it feels very hydrated and very very nourished kind of a skin so that's what i like about this i really like this product as well so if you know depending on your skin type you really have to think how you're going to work on this uh for dry skin beauty it can be a very very good product for oily skin uh beauties you will have to use a moisturizer with a teeny mini drop of it and it's going to um help you reduce your pigmentations i have seen a, my skin clear it getting it up if you know what i mean because i do not really have dark spots i have just uh experienced uh the skin being very hydrated moisturized and all of that so i won't be able to judge or i won't be able to comment on the fading of the pigmentation but i do have a little bit of pigmentation over over the mouth area and i did try it i think there is a visible change but i am sure it's going to take a long long time to show it like you have to use it for good 3 4 months to actually show the difference on your skin so that was all about this now the last product for for the skincare range is the face mask 
It's called the Anti Blemish Face Mask and it's made of neem, turmeric, and amla as the main ingredients in it. It's paraben free and 100% pure natural extracts. And it is priced at 200 rupees for 550 gram. 500 gram. It's priced at 200 rupees for 50 grams of product. And it has neem, amla, turmeric, tulsi, aloe vera, papaya, tree oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, willow bark and many more things which I can't really pronounce but it has good stuff in it. So it says keep skin blemish free by quickly reducing breakouts with this maximum strength formula. Neem, basil and tea tree activities unlock pores to remove trapped dirt and oil. Skin is left free and acne and pimple free for further breakouts. Now I agree to that. I have been loving this face mask. You know, um, same packaging, plastic and you open it up like this it looks like clay kind of a product uh, but it smells of multani mitti highly highly mul smells of multani mitti kind of a smell and it is like a clay you know it is like of the multani mitti kind of a thing uh, it feels like that and it dries out and then you wash your face do is I put this on my skin for a good 15 to 20 minutes and then I wash it off. Now they have said that you have to use this product for like every day. You have to use this product every day to um, achieve the results. And But I don't really get time to use it every single day. So the day I am using uh, the scrub I use this as well. Uh, and I have seen that your skin feels... Um, very soft after that, very uh, soft and clean, like squirky clean. Uh, it actually, um, I don't know about breakouts, but it actually makes my skin feel very, very fresh. And it's a very good mask uh, because, you know, I can feel like if I have some black spots or blackheads or some dead skins here and there, um, it gets removed by the exfoliator, the scrub in the first place but whatever may be left over it cleans that up very well so it has um, it says that uh, keep this for 15 to 20 minutes but I keep it like 20 to 30 minutes sometimes sometimes 15 to 20 minutes depending on how much time I have but I really really recommend this product because this is a very good face mask and it's all natural so and it does the job it does the job of cleaning your face it does the job of you know taking out your dead cells and long run if you use it for long run it actually helps in pigmentation because once I use this and once I wash my face I really feel my skin is very clear and clean kind of thing so yes I really really recommend this product it's the face mask by Aura Vedic and it's the Neem Amla face pack so yes this is really highly recommended of this also um, I would really recommend the skin polish as well if you're looking out for a skin polish because as I said it's very mild it's good for sensitive skin you break out uh, in the start because it's a scrub and you know all scrubs tends to break you out uh, once you start using them at least it happens with me but over the time you get used to it so that's a good thing you know and um, I don't break out like I don't get pimples it's like small things which like goes away in a day and then I know the second time I use it and if there is no breakouts then I know it's suiting my skin so even this is a very nice product because it's polishing your skin and it has sandal and turmeric which is really good and it also you know cleanses your skin well so if you're looking out for anything which is more herbal which is more um, natural uh, then I would really recommend to try out this range for your skin care product and uh, thirdly um, the last verdict for the skin lightening oil um, you have to be persistent with this you have to be really really patient you really have to have patience and use it every day twice a day uh, at least for good two three months to see results give to a moisturizer and it does does leave your skin hydrated once you wake up in the morning and you really feel your skin you know you really feel that your skin has slept well like you have slept well kind of a skin so that's more about it now I also received a kajal from them it's the Aura Vedic kajal and it's all natural I believe it's priced for 150 rupees for 2.5 grams of product now there are no ingredients mentioned in this uh, so I won't be able to tell you and it's a 
roll-on kind of a kajal, a retractable kajal where you do not really need um, a pencil, when you do not really need a sharpener. It looks like this, as you can see, and it is black. I'll just try to show it to you. It is jet black in color, as you can see, and it is... Um, it does not sting my eye but it is not definitely smudge proof. I have tried it in my waterline and it keeps bleeding um, after an hour or so. Uh, I have used it as an eyeliner as well but for me it does not stay on my eyeline, uh, on my eyelids as well. So I would skip this product because we have really different kajal which is smudge proof at this price range but if you want something very natural, if you you know use kajal once in a while or if you have sensitive eyes and you still need kajal, I think then you can go for it just to put it on your under eye and not outside that because otherwise it's going to bleed or it's going to smudge. So just your underline, maybe it will work but um, I don't really recommend this product so no, um, I think we have better products in the market when it comes to kajal but as I said if you want all natural, depends on your purpose, if you want all natural uh, black kajal so it's good with that. What I do is I use it as my eyeshadow base like if I'm going for smoky eye or anything where I need a base of black color so I do this. I apply this all over my lid because it's very smooth and very creamy so it, that because it's very smooth and very creamy it is actually very easy to apply on your eyelids and you know kind of smudging it out also for your smoky eyes and that so I use this product as that but not as a kajal or a coal for me. So yes, so out of all these products, this is not something I would recommend, uh, but the others I would highly recommend you the face mask and the scrub and also the oil depending on your skin type. So that was all about the review of these products. As I said, you have to be a little consistent with these, but this, that's all about the review of these products. So I, I will link down the website down below and where you can buy it from in case you're interested. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. See ya. Do like and subscribe.